Boy, what a great night for some baseball at Founders Park here in Columbia, South Carolina. And it's a special treat. The number one ranked team in America has made the trek east to take on 11th ranked South Carolina. He's got a good fastball, 90 to 93, a slider and a changeup as well. Now, he likes to stay down. He wants to be down in the zone, throwing that two-seam fastball. It's a good size to him, but not at second base. And there is a four-pitch wall. That ball is live, base hit. Battles was breaking toward the bag. That will allow Wimmer to get to third, and they're at the corners with two down. And he misses inside, and they are loaded. As a prototypical professional hitter, ground ball to the right side. That one is gloved over there by Slavin, and what a job to get the out and end the inning, and South Carolina will leave them loaded. We've played one in Columbia. Gets the right-handed far. Moore with eight homers, and he touches that one. That is a no-doubter as he bat flips it, and it is out of here. Number nine for Robert Moore. There's the home run production by the Razorback. Came in with 70 long balls on the year. Nobody even close to that. Make it 71. You talk about first ball, fastball. I'm looking fastball. If I get it, I'm getting my swing off. And boy, does he ever. Little back flip, and he knew he had all of that one out to right center field. Crowd noise again. That one's just off the plate. Far wanted it. Thought it was strike three. That one is out to right, and that one is misplayed out there by Eister. Battles ends up at third. So second and third for the Arkansas Razorbacks with one out. Ground ball to the right side. Wimmer over to first. Ooh, a dangerous throw, but Mendham able to scoop it out of the dirt. A bunt laid down, and an easy play for Caleb Bolden. Header. On Saturday, they were down 2-0 in the last inning, but put four on the scoreboard. Came back and this ball's hit pretty well. Out to left, and what a catch by Zach Gregory up against the wall. A five-pitch inning for Bolden, but this is some kind of grab. By on the track, he goes up the ladder right there. And makes the third out of the inning. They get the Razorbacks off the field. We got a one nothing ball. Slaps that one to the right side. Scooped up there by Wimmer. Nice play. There's the Arkansas Razorbacks. And there is a leadoff walk. Shot down the line at right. It is a fair ball in the corner. They're gonna send the runner home. There's the play at the plate, not in time, and we are tied at one. Ryan Cost, you the junior out of Clayton, California, went to De La Salle High School, but transferred in from Sacramento City Community College. Nice. Oh, yes, Called strike three, was. and he did get fooled. Looking for something off speed, and he got the fastball. Oh, no chance for fair. Wimmer on that at bat. Slap to the left side, and that one is past Nesbitt. Kicks into foul territory. Clark on his way to second, and he is out. Moore puts the tag on him. Wow. It's a fair ball the whole time, but how about... Jalen battles the shortstop. He quickly gets to it. Watch this throw. Gets to it and throws a rocket all the way over to second base. There's the tag. Is it in that an SEC oh, no. play? That ball's belted again off the bat of Good Harp. This time, Andrew Eister able to make the catch. Lifted in the air to left. Seitler makes the catch. A seven pitch inning and another one, two, three frame. That is 11 in a row retired by Thomas Farr. It's up and away, and the leadoff man reaches. Did he catch him? It did. 
Just ran in, caught his jersey, and he is at first base. It's Caden Monk, the junior from Mount Olive, Illinois. Coming into this one in a dicey situation. Nobody out, runners at first and second. A walk and a hit by pitch have set things up for South Carolina. And he popped it up. The first baseman, Slavens, comes in to make the catch. Just with an RBI already tonight. Ground ball. They can turn two here. Moore's throw in plenty of time. And Arkansas gets out of that mess. Two on and nobody out. And just like that, they're heading to the dugout. Franklin. Shot out to right. That'll be a base knock and a good start for Arkansas here in the seventh. That ball uh -oh. is hammered way out of here. A two-run shot for Robert Moore, and the Hogs lead it three to one. Stay hot, Robert Moore. Wow. I'm talking about an 0-2 count, a mistake pitch by Thomas Farr. And Robert Moore on time, trying to go up in the zone. You can see the catcher, Colin Burgess, wanted this ball up just about chest high. But instead, down the middle, you find the barrel and your second long ball of the night. Make it 10 home runs on the year for Robert Moore. Slow roll to the right side. Going to be a tough play. And... Safe at first. Farr says he stepped on the bag. And that one gets past Burgess. Sharply hit and caught and no double play. They throw it away though. That'll get Opitz over to third. Well, this is a rocket off the bat right to the backhand side. And the double pump right there. That's one of those throws where you're not sure you want to make it or not. You try to hold it up. So what? Heinrich he can't believe it. He throws it out in right field. Savage is at 302, tries to lay the bunt down, and it is a good one. No play, and the run is home. So the safety squeeze is executed perfectly by Arkansas. Junior from Sugarland, Texas. Kevin Copps, their best arm out of that bullpen. Could be one of their best arms in the whole staff. 54 strikeouts in 32 innings. Look at his numbers, 6-0 with a 1-1 ERA. And he is coming in here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Three pitches, three strikes. Throw down to first and out number one. Movement down and away. Six pitches, six strikes, and two outs. Yeah, he can throw nine pitches and punch out the side, we're about to find out. No, ground ball. Scooped up there by Battles across the diamond and it will be a clean inning though. It wasn't immaculate, but close to it. That's a base hit through the left hand, left side past the glove of George Khalil. Lifted in the air, left center. Keeps drifting, drifting to the wall, and it can't be caught. Seitler misplayed it up against the fence. Lined. Back up the middle, base hit. That'll get one run in. Caden Wallace will touch home. Ground ball. They'll come home with it. They've got Slavens tied up. Franklin ends up at the bag at third, but there are now two outs. For Arkansas every game, every series, you know, it seems like it's somebody different. To the right side, underhand toss. Gillery just does put his foot on the bag. Pitches and just one ball. That would be a strike. third innings of work. And he now has 58 strikeouts. I'm to strut around <laughs> and stick my chest out. Uh, ground ball to the right side. 
They had him playing out in shallow right. Moore was good 20 steps off the infield dirt. Mm. And that hits him. Not a good start to the night for Gilreath in South Carolina. And that is ball four. The 3-2. That one is out to left. That'll be a base hit. They're going to wave the runner home. Here comes the throw. It is not in time, and it's now a 6-1 to one game. Arkansas out in front as Braden Webb slides into the plate. Then he comes back with a fastball up around the letter. It's going to happen that they were going to have to play two on Friday. Ground ball out to second. That'll be out number two. And that will be strike three. So they go five and two-thirds innings. Zero hits, eight strikeouts, and just one walk. And the bats came alive when they needed to, and they win this one six to one on a couple of home runs off the bat of Robert Moore. And Arkansas will go to 31 and six, 12 and four in conference play.